The environmental effects of nanoparticles is currently a gray area, which poses a threat to environments because while this form of pollution is accumulating, filtration processes are not being initiated to prevent their exposure. For starters, what are nanoparticles? Nanoparticles are microscopic particles that range between 1 and 100 nanometers in diameter. They may also vary in shape and can be made of various elements like gold, silver, and iron oxide. They are used in several fields such as cosmetics, optics, electronics, biomedical applications, and transportation. The large output of nanoparticles has encouraged environmentalists to evaluate the risks imposed by their exposure. Nanoparticles can be released by natural causes or by emissions produced by traffic or factories. In some cases, preventing the release of nanoparticles into the environment is improbable altogether, like when iron oxide is released into the ocean through sunscreen. So how do nanoparticles harm us biologically? If nanoparticles made of these underlying essential elements enter the human body, the concentrations of these materials would increase to a dose that can be harmful or even lethal. Nanoparticles can enter the body through either inhalation or ingestion and are small enough to cross cell membranes. So how can scientists minimize exposure to harmful substances in the lab? Start by wearing personal protective equipment, make sure to use the fume hood for synthesis of nanoparticles and the biosafety cabinet when handling cells, and dispose of pipettes and other materials in their appropriate waste containers. For more information about nanoparticles and their effects on the environment, refer to our essay by following the link below.